You know, we're not daughters here, we're not just living in a make-believe world. No. But as you listen to this young man's story, I hope you'll be convinced that God yep. is real. Over to you, Dominic. Uh, thank you, Lush. Um, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're well and having a nice time. Um, basically, my name is Dominic. I'm 38 years old. I'm from Boston, New Yorkshire. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, my testimony in coming to Christ is quite special. Um, basically, I was a person that always had a lot of drug abuse, um, alcohol abuse, uh, cigarette smoking, uh, depression, anxiety, lots of paranoia and, and suicidal thoughts. And um, back in 2017, I basically reached uh, the, the ultimate low. And, um, I was left with only one option, was to, 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 to try and pray to the Lord. So um, one night I decided to go down on my, on my knees in my bedroom and I literally just repented for everything. I repented for all my sins and, and I prayed like I'd never prayed before. Um, literally that night, uh, this went on for like a good 30, 40 minutes. I remember going to sleep around uh, 10 p.m. And then the same night, around 12 p.m., um, I, I woke up again, and immediately, Lush, can I just give you those to hold, please? Uh, and immediately, as, as I opened my eyes around midnight, I was aware at the end of the bed, on the, on the left-hand side, there was a spiritual figure sitting. And I knew it was a male. That person, he showed me an image of a little baby boy being held like this. Wow. A gold, gold chain around his neck and a gold cross on the end of the chain. Uh, as that image faded away from my mind, I was aware of that person uh, standing up. I even felt the bed physically move near, near my foot. Yeah. And I watched that person walk out of the room. Um, I fell back to sleep. And then um, the next morning around 7 a.m. I woke up. And uh, for the first time in many, many years, I felt in my heart again the feeling of peace and hope. And I could see a path out of the darkness. And uh, something said to me last night, Dominic, your, your prayers was answered, and it truly was. The Lord, the Lord came to me and he saved me, and it's only thanks to him now that I'm standing here. Because I know that if I hadn't have prayed that night, I probably would have been dead, and pro probably worse than hell. Um, because I was living heavy, heavy in sin, very heavy in sin. Um, so yeah, all glory to God, he truly did save me. Um, yeah, Jesus is real, and he loves us all so very much, and he pro proved that to me. So, praise the Lord, and thank you for listening. Before you go, Don, I want to tell you, before you encounter God, I'm sure you've been told about God before, what was, what was your attitude like to God? What, was, what do you think about, what was your thought about God? I, I'd heard... I'd heard the typical uh, Christian rhetoric, as I thought of it back then. Um, I didn't understand the gospel. Um, I had no idea that Jesus still lives at all. Um, I didn't realise fully that he is spirit. And you know, so many times in the world we think that Jesus was just a, a, a physical person from the past. And he was that. But we don't realise that he still lives. And to have that encounter with him, that was that was the turning point, that was the proof that yes, Jesus is real, he does love me, he does love all of us, he wants all of us to be saved. And um, so yeah, so that, that changed my attitude completely, it was, it was just that real first-hand proof, so yeah. What do you have to tell people who don't know, who believe God is not real, that, what do you have to say? Because you know, most people would say, oh, God doesn't exist, I don't believe in God. What kind of real experience or advice would you like to give them? Um, the advice I would give to anybody who's an unbeliever um, is question everything that you've been told by the society, by the religions, by the government, by your, your parents, anything. And if you want to truly know the Lord, then, and if you if you seek him with a, with a sincere heart and ask him to come into your life, he, he will come. He will definitely come. So that would be my advice: is to take a chance on Jesus because he does want you to call to him. That's for sure. So yeah, that would be my advice.
for, for, a, for a beginner, you know, a person who's just stepping out, wanting to know. Let's put our hands together for Dominic. Amen. 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 Yeah, thank, Praise thank the you, Lord. Thank you for sharing your testimony. This will be the last time. We hope to see you again to just share your testimonies. It's remarkable. God bless you. God bless you.